Uh, here she is. I've had this car for two weeks now. I still can't believe it. Anyways, I cleaned her earlier and I'm gonna go to Ace Cafe now because there's a Jap night on and I haven't been to an Ace Cafe meet in a long time. So we're taking the Supra, let's go. New mod, my first mod to the steering, my first mod to the steering, my first mod to the Supra is a really nice blue deep dish steering wheel and it just improves. I miss having a deep dish steering wheel. It improves my driving position so much. And then soon I need to get seat rails so I can get my bucket seat back in, but that'll come soon. Anyways, let's over, let's head over. I can't talk today. Let's go. Let's check out Ryan's car. Oh, that looks sick. <laughs> yes, mate. <laughs> How's it going, man? Good, man. You all right? Yeah, good. It looks so much better than with the other wheels he had on. I just had a quick catch up with Ryan. His car is like a similar color to my new steering wheel. And there's some guy over there playing reggae really loudly from his BMW. Like everyone needs to hear it. Cheers, mate. Anyways, uh, Ryan's car looks so much better now. And it's time to go to Ace Cafe. Let's go. So, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know this, but if you do, then you would have seen that on Monday, today's Saturday now, I decided to run my car completely out of petrol, not out of petrol, like literally like about to run out. And I went to my local Tesco, uh, my local Tesco, I put 95 run in, it wasn't even momentum. And from, full, from empty to full in this car was 93 pounds. I could not believe it. I actually, to be honest, I was like crying inside but laughing on the outside. It was just one of them ones. But I'll tell you what, I have now done 200 kilometers. I'll show you actually one sec. I have done 200.5 kilometers. That's about 120, just over 120 miles. And I've only burnt about a quarter of a tank. Me, if that was the Skyline, I'd have half a tank left right now. This car is way more friendly on petrol than the Skyline was. So you pay more per tank, but you get a lot more. <laughs> so that's quite nice. Um, I will probably run it empty again just to see how far I can actually get on a single tank because basically that's what the test is. But the less I spend on petrol or the better this car is on petrol, until I turbo it obviously, is the more money I'll be able to save quicker to turbo it <laughs> and then I'll just be broke forever so yeah <laughs> hopefully in the near future I'll also be filming like a proper update video for you guys just to talk to do an actual review on a non-turbo super because the amount of non-turbo super and content I've seen is minimal there's all these compilation videos thousand horsepower 1500 horsepower nine second quarter miles seven second quarter miles drifting there's nothing about just owning a Supra and living with it and enjoying it and not chasing power numbers. I'm going to be chasing some numbers, don't get me wrong. But long story short, this is a really nice car and I want to express that. So quite soon I'll be making a proper review video on this car, not only showing what it's like to drive, but also what it's like to actually own this car. I started recording earlier today with well, there was still daylight, now there's not. Just made it to Ace Cafe. <laughs> but, right near the entrance. Can't even see the car properly, because it's black. That is a nice R35 GTR. God, that is a wide impressor. <laughs> nice car, man. <laughs> Jeez. That's a proper wide body kit. It's got the full LED tail lights, carbon spoiler. This leak is clean. Love the yellow. And this sparkle, oh my god. Someone tell me the exact name of this because I am looking at wrapping options for the Supra and this colour is very nice. Love the white wheels too. There is a small chance that this car is my friend Erol, who now has a chaser. He used to have a 350Z. This might be his car, just wrapped. 
I think it is, you know. This actually might be my mate's old car. Let's see what else is here then. Silvia S14, lovely colour. XXR527. I love these wheels. I might be getting them for mine. We've got an R33 GTST. Can't lose. I like stickers on the rear windscreen. This GTR is paying. It's got a freaking cage in it. This is fucking clean. Uh, is it a GTR? It is a GTR. It's a very nice looking GTR. I actually really like R34 wheels and an R33. This is like the only part of Ace Cafe where there's decent lighting. Oh, that idol. <laughs> that idol though. <laughs> it way lower than in the skyline. Yeah. There's something I think that's partially why I like it. Yeah, I know. I've, I need to get new bulbs. <laughs> yeah, the shift is way nicer. <laughs> I'm kind of used to it now. I'm not like in a rush to change it or anything. It's alright. Yeah, it's not even 6pm yet. You've got all these cars here already, so that's pretty sick. We've got way more people on the way too. In you get. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> it's much lower than in the skyline. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's nice. I really like that about it. It reminds me of the GT86 a lot. <laughs> it's better in daytime because you can see how the dashboard like surrounds you and everything. It's such a nice place to sit. It, it does feel nice actually. Yeah. I think it feels nice in the skyline. I have to agree. I think it's a nicer place to sit than the skyline was. Just for the way it sits. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Let's go. This is a pop food. Oh, this saw is so peng though. Mmm. We have an Aston Martin front end on an MX5. And I have to say it works. <laughs> it actually works. So I met this guy last year when we convoyed with him to Jackfest. It's fully forged. And that back end looks so good. His taillights are so much cleaner. I don't get it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Man like Wayne. It's 510 and stock internals. <laughs> oh, that, that manifold sound. Shall I go punch it for him? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go and see that because that looks pretty nice. And he's got a Rhydox bumper in his. <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, but that is gold. Well, as it's here, and it's very good looking, I might as well film it. Here is Mini Supra. It's so good looking, it, it really is. I think it's a single turbo automatic uh, trial rear bumper. I think it has a uh, front bumper is on it. Is it a Rydox? Yeah, it's got a Rydox front bumper. T37 looking like wheels, carbon bonnet. It's wrapped in pink. It's actually orange underneath. It looks so good in orange, but it also looks good in this colour. All those dials look good. That sounds nice for the S14. Oh, hello. 
<laughs> Bye guys. Just left all my friends behind. But oh, you know we're about to see something good, right? That's what's really good. Yeah, not bad, mate. Yourself? Really, yeah, nice man. I just heard the Sora send it down the slip road. Oh mate, I should have gone to see this. Go on then. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. That was a sequential. I saw the little thing in there saying what gear he's in. That R33 had a sequential gearbox. Holy crap! There's the fully forged one. This one sounds very nice. Such a nice tone. That was RB25 swapped. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm sat in the super now because it's so cold. 